the Alice layout. Love it or hate it, it's one of the most unique form factors within the mechanical keyboard hobby. When I first got in the mechanical keyboard scene, I was introduced to uh, a lot of different unique form factors like the 75%, the 65%, 60%, 40%, even a fucking 2%. But this one caught my eye out of all the other ones that it's something that I've been wanting to try for a long time. But the bad thing is most kits are really expensive. If you're in the aftermarket, you can find something like the TGR Alice, which is the, the keyboard that started the form factor, but that's way too expensive. So I was actually able to find this keyboard in a group buy and it was pretty cheap so I thought it was a good opportunity for me to try uh, try my hand at the form factor so this keyboard is is really hands-on you have to solder everything the it has individual diodes for every switch you have to solder in the USB-C connection uh, all the capacitors and switches it's as bare bones as you can get and I definitely had my ups and downs on this keyboard yeah, and so the building begins, uh, I had to solder all the diodes you see up there up at the top, and then I had to go into all the other smaller components. And honestly, it was kind of scary soldering everything. I, I had some experience before soldering, but there was no real way to test that I was doing everything right, because unlike other boards I already have all these components pre-soldered and you can connect them and then test out if all the switches works this one was kind of just a shot in the dark you had to solder everything and just hope everything worked in the end as I finish up the PCB here I'll just let the video play through since there isn't much to talk about after this it's it's just your normal building process Tuning your stabs, putting your switches, soldering your switches, and then putting your keycaps on. So, yeah, I'll let it play through. Yeah, so one of the stabilizers was rubbing against the plate. I don't know, it, it was squishing the stabilizers together and the inside stab wire couldn't move freely. It was really weird. I had to take apart the whole keyboard. I thought I'd be able just to take that switch off and take the, the stab off, but the way that the plate is doesn't really allow for the stab to come out. So I had to desolder all these switches, which you can see me doing right now. And yeah, that was, definitely a pain <laughs> definitely put my my soldering skills to the test but uh in the end i was able to take it off and take the stab off and yeah i retuned them and i actually had to take it outside since it's fiberglass and i i filed some of it down but once i filed it down i, I tested out the all the stabs which is my mistake from the beginning you should always do that in the beginning it was a rookie mistake but 
hey, it worked out in the end. I was able to uh, solder everything back and it was all good. Okay, you can see me here testing the switches. Everything worked. Take two, here we go. Now time to put everything back together. Put the rotary knob. Put the acrylic top plate so we can see all the diodes, all the effort we put into it. And for the final touch, this attack on Titan Artisan. And we're done.